Okay, so I'm starting recording now. So we are going to look now at the uh, Visual Novel Project, and we're going to take a look at this amazing project. Here we go. I should have full screened it. Hey, dog. Yeah, what? So I hope you know that the quality of your project will have to be better. But hey, look at that. The time stops. So everything's grayed out. So having transitions is going to be a bit of your a bit of this. So we already learned about that in the previous project. And then we got two options. These options are like, yeah, there's the tactile buttons here. And depending on what option you choose, we'll produce a different story. So what should we do? Avenge our father's death or make peace with the dog? Avenge your father's death. All right. Here we go. Ready for this? Here we go. Avenging the father's death. So all the things disappear. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Princess Bride reference, thank you. <laughs> and laser vision. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, there is a peaceful version. Because, uh, you know, video games don't always have to be about violence, right? There could be peaceful solutions. So we go, make peace with the dog. Yeah, what? Notice if I click the other option, it will have a different story that unfolds. We'll make peace with the dog. Dog. I can't stay mad at you. Whoops, my transition didn't go away. Oh, how sweet of you, etc. No, oh, what? Prepare to die. So either way, the dog ends up dying. If you're a dog person, not a cat person, I apologize. Uh, I like both. They're both good. But notice that two different stories happen, right? That was that was sort of the point of that exercise. So what happened here in my code? So I'll show you what's going on. Uh, both stories start off the same way. Let's just move things around a bit. Here we go. All the stories start with this script. Here's the cat. So the cat's scripts are all about, you know, reset to the original positions. So our reset scripts. So a lot of this knowledge you guys have gained from your previous project, right? Very similar. You're going to reset things. They're going to glide to move around. They're going to use say to say stuff. And then check it out. The broadcast. The mighty broadcast. That's what we use for our buttons, right? Guess what? My cat broadcasts too. It broadcasts uh, something to tell the buttons to show up at the right time. So when my you know, story is done, my intro little story, uh, the dog saying hi. Notice I'm waiting five seconds because so this is the cat. The cat says hi, and then I wait five seconds to allow the dog to also say hi. And then I broadcast choice one. What happens when I broadcast choice one? Well, these buttons receive it, and they show up. And in fact, I ghost them in. I'm using the ghost effect to make the transition uh, nice and smooth. So for this project, I do recommend using transitions, things like ghost effects to you know, make things not just like, you know, all of them just appear out of nowhere, but to kind of peacefully and relaxingly kind of fade into existence. It just looks good. Uh, and then you can pick either button. Check it out. If I click on the uh, Avenge Father button, it broadcasts Avenge Father. And if I click on the Make Peace with the Dog button, it broadcasts Make Peace, uh, or Make Friends, apparently. So those broadcasts get received by everything else. So, you know, the buttons will receive those things, the characters will receive those things, and they'll start a different storyline. So let me show you the cat, for example. These two scripts down here are the different uh, receive triggers. So you'll notice the one, I, actually I'll line them up a little bit differently. There we go. Check it out. The one on the left, I got it right this time. Uh, the Avenged Father storyline is here. And you know, you killed my father, prepare to die, switch to the laser eyes, play a little sound effect, switch back, and, and laugh. That's what happened there. On the right hand side, the make friends storyline happens. And it says, you know, dog, I can't stay mad at you, but then surprise, prepare to die anyways, and, and do that stuff. So two different storylines happen. So that's basically it. You're going to be using broadcast to make different storylines appear, and your different sets of characters will receive those to make things happen. You might have other characters that are going to arrive. They're going to be hidden until they receive that broadcast to make them come out onto the, onto the stage. You can almost think of a broadcast as, you know, like in a, like this doesn't actually happen in theater, but like, if you imagine like a cartoon, like theater production, usually there's the director with the big like megaphone. And they're like, take your places, everybody. And they're like telling everybody what to do. Broadcasts are like that megaphone that let you organize stuff. 
Uh, if you go down this route, if you take this project, then you're going to have to make uh, three points at which your story is going to branch. So this was one point right here. This is a branching point. When I got to choose avenge father or make peace with the dog, that's one branching point. Yeah, not three options, I shouldn't say. Like this, this is one branching point. There's two choices, but it's one branching point. But down the road, there should be another branching point from either of those options. So, so yeah, so at the end, there'll be four different endings to your story. You could make it so that like one is like instant death, and the other one takes you further down the story. And then you have two choices there. And then one's instant death, and the other one takes you further down the story. And then there's a final like third uh, branching point where it's like instant death or you win the game kind of thing. That, that's also possible. That's totally fine if you want to do that uh, that way. If you want to do this project, but you're sort of like, oh, I hate the idea of doing a storyline. Do you guys know the game The Impossible Quiz? Oh. Yeah? So you could make a project like The Impossible Quiz. The thing is, that one's like, there's not much programming to do other than the cleverness of the question and the puzzle. So you just you could just make an Impossible Quiz game, but you'd have more branching points. Because that one's just like, you know, lose, 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 or the right one. And hi, hi Maya, welcome. Uh, or, you know, or, and then carry on. So the program is pretty simple, but if you just did more of them, I'd be happy if you were to choose that option uh, as well. The Impossible Quiz is a choose your own adventure game in, in its own way. Okay, so there is two videos recorded to make sure that, you know, you could choose either project and have sort of the, the fundamental uh, stuff to get started on those projects. Um, I don't think we'll, I'll, I'll just stop it right here.